uh, in the black community about home ownership. And I want to dispel it. I want to uh, explode the myth. I've talked about this once before. I did it on Roland Martin's show, which uh, everybody should, show, should support Roland Martin Unfiltered. I've, uh, and I'm going to unpack it here because it's such an important topic. Um, this big lie about black home ownership is causing or, or part of the cause that only 41% of black folks own a home in this country. 41%, less than half of black folks own a home in this country. And part of it is a real big lie. That lie is you don't own the home. So th this is just wrong. It's 100% wrong. The perception is uh, we've been taught, I don't know where or from, 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 from whom, but it's wrong. Uh, so whoever told you this was financially illiterate, that if, the, if you own this home, you own a, you have a mortgage on this home debt. The bank owns a loan, owns owns a mortgage. That the bank owns a home. You don't. You do not. That's just wrong. It's a hundred percent wrong. If I could say it's hundred and fifty percent wrong, uh, I'd say that. But that would be as wrong uh, as saying uh, that uh, the bank owns a home. It is wrong. Let me just. It, it's the math of the matter here. Um, it, if the bank owes has a loan on your house. That's called good debt. There's bad debt. It's called financing jewelry, <laughs> financing you know baseball uh, event tickets, but financing vacations. You know, uh, I, a, I could give you a lot of reasons of why you shouldn't get a loan somewhere. Going to get a a, a credit card with a thirty percent interest rate on it. Going to get a a, a car loan with an eighteen percent interest rate on it. You have a Mercedes with an eighteen percent interest rate on it. It's not a Mercedes. It's a Mercedes payments. OK, uh, there are a lot of reasons to not do something right. But getting prime rates and your credit score is 650 or better. Getting uh, good to prime rates uh, to become a homeowner is nothing but good. Uh, oh, well, you don't own the home again. Just not true. The bank owns the debt. And if, if you buy a home, buy a home for one hundred thousand dollars, the bank has a seventy thousand dollar mortgage on it or eighty thousand dollar mortgage on it. In this example, the difference between the debt, the bank a bank debt level and the equity is yours. And let me go one step further because uh, the tax policy in this country was created Get all that money back in a refund. Did you hear me? When you're renting from me or you're renting from another landlord, and I love you renting from me, by the way, all good. But if you're renting from me, another landlord, you're, you know, you're paying off their mortgage. I have good debt. I use good debt. Every wealthy person, millionaire, billionaire has used good debt. I guarantee you, every celebrity you admire, every ball player, professional athlete you admire uses good debt, I guarantee you. So uh, if, if you're paying rent, you're opening a window and you're throwing the money out. In other, okay, if you're flossing uptown in a skyscraper that you can't afford, they impress people you don't know with money you don't have, you're flossing, you're opening the window and you're just throwing money out. If you're renting in a stable, you know, responsible situation, it's affordable housing, it may be just perfect for you. There have been many years that I was a renter, I'm not hating on renting but you're paying off the, the mortgage of the company or the person that owns it. Don't you want to be that company or person that owns it? Okay. When So the first, number one, you're getting the write-off against your income of the mortgage interest you're paying every month on the mortgage. Number two, the, de the depreciation on that property goes to benefit you, not the bank. The appreciation, when it, when it, when it grows in value, that appreciation goes to benefit you. You get what I'm saying? It, 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 so as a, if, if you owe the bank $70,000, the house is worth $100,000. Five years later, the worth, house is worth 100 and, uh, $600,000. And, uh, let's make it easy. So you owe $70,000. It's worth $140,000. You've doubled the value. The difference in that, that additional $70,000 belongs to you. If the bank owned the, the, the house, wouldn't they participate in the $70,000 $70, increase? Wouldn't they own all of that if they, they own the house? And if they were even a partner with you, they own some of that. They own none of it. They get 
their mortgage interest, as long as you pay them, and that's it. Now, if you default on the mortgage, like any other of the other debtor, they're going to take the underlying collateral. But but isn't that common sense? You go, you get a car loan. If you don't pay the car note, they're going to come repossess it. Okay, that's just life, right? That's not that's not you know some unfair agreement. We knew it when we signed up. We just make sure we are taking the obligation we can afford to pay. Good debt is what every smart person uses in a responsible way to enhance their returns and to build wealth. You build wealth in your sleep. It's called compounding. I'll do another video just on that. But I really want you to get out of your head. Uh, whoever told you this is absolutely wrong, that, that somehow you don't own the home that the bank does. That's just not true. 70-plus uh, percent, I think it's 79 percent of white families uh, own homes. 41 percent of black families own homes. The numbers for Latinos is a little better than that. But home ownership is the number one way you build wealth in this country. If you're a working class family, a working middle class family, a poor family, a struggling family, you're going to pay the mo the same amount uh, uh, for a mortgage as you would for rent. In some cases, you'll pay less for a mortgage than you would for rent. I want you to call my team at Operation Hope. I want you to go to a Hope Financial Coach at op in an Operation Hope location near you or go download the Hope in Hand app. Uh, it's free. We're clear across the country. Go to operationhope.org or dial 888-388-HOPE and make sure that our people uh, get you all coached up, get your credit score up, get you approvable, and get you in the game so that you can become an owner of your own life and, and legacy in America. And make sure you read this book, Up From Nothing. It's my latest book of how you change your life. John Bryant, follow the movement, 2 million followers and, and growing, 100 million video views for this movement. Tell all your friends about it. And let me know what you think about this video in the comments. Let me know 